Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to check fuses on your motherboard or inverter or other electronic component. I have an example fuse here and there's another example fuse. We also have, as people know who follow my channel, I broke my, or my black light, my back light is out. And so I've been looking at the issue and seeing if I could find and basically find out what the problem is. I've noticed that I'm not getting the 19 volts I need to light up the backlight. So it's not a fuse problem, but I wanted to use this as an example. Some of the things I was checking, which is the fuses. Here's a small fuse on the inverter. Now, let's first take a look at how we can use a multimeter to check the fuses. So the first thing you're going to want to do is set it to the correct mo mode so we can check continuity right here. Look for that symbol and set your multimeter there. Now, the next thing you need to do is make sure you always disconnect the power from wherever you're checking the fuses. We're also going to check the fuse on the inverter as well, and we're going to see how everything looks. So the first thing you should do is see what your reading is when you tap these two together. That is the same reading you should get when you check a fuse and confirm it is working. So we put these two, the positive and negative, together, and we see the reading. Now, what we need to do to check the fuse is put the positive and negative to each end. Notice the reading we get. Now, this is an older uh, multimeter. It's not a digital where you'll get a beeping noise when you're checking your fuses. Now, as you notice, it does. the reading does go up to the correct so you'll know that there is current here. Now when a fuse is broken, you won't get that full current. It's a little tricky to work with these fuses, but there you go. You can see the reading right there. Now let's check this fuse and see the difference here. Let's see if we get anything off this one. As you notice, it doesn't even budge. This fuse is broken. There's no current going through. So that's what happens when a fuse breaks. Now the fuse is there to protect other electronic components. So if the fuse breaks, it's there because, and it breaks because it doesn't want to damage other things. That's part of the design. So let's go ahead and check the fuse here on the inverter now. Let's see what happens. Make sure you've disconnected the power. As you can see, this fuse also works. This fuse is also getting current through. So that fuse is good. You can check every fuse you need to depending on what is not working on your computer. Now I even disassembled the whole thing and had to check all the fuses on the motherboard. Well I didn't have to check them all actually. I only checked the backlight fuse. But it's something that you may need to check if you're not getting the voltage to the component that's not working. In my case, it's the backlight I'm looking at. So I wanted to use this moment and this opportunity to show a little bit of how you can check on your own computer, your own devices, your own smartphone, your own tablet, and just take a look and see if the problem could be something as simple as a blown fuse, which you could then technically replace if you know where to order that fuse. So that's how you check fuses, that's how it works, and that's how you use a multimeter to check the components to see if you have continuity. So that's what I got today, guys. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment, and make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll be back later with more on Linux.